Uh, you were just on a conference call with your analysts and investors saying that this year you're going to overtake Sprint as the number three wireless carrier in the country. I want you to make an even bolder prediction. What's the boldest thing you can say about what's going to happen to T-Mobile this year? You know, mo more importantly, if you listen closely, I actually said very subtly and gently, we already passed them. But, I, but I've been kind of gracious. You know, I'm not really one to brag. So <laughs> never. Yeah, never. I was I was kind of subtly rolling that out. And I, and I think this is an important challenge that you lay out because um, we we just finished a great quarter. But the biggest growth year in the history of the company with 8.3 million net additional customers and 4 million postpaid phone nets. And we took are you ready. We took 100 percent of the phone net ads on the postpaid side in the whole industry. So what you're going to see is 2015 is, again, a big transformational year. At the end of the year, we will have completed out 300 million pops of LTE and rapid deployment of the 700 band and a migration to 1900 of our 2G to 4G. And we'll be preparing for the low band spectrum auctions in early 16, which together you can envision the startup T-Mobile will now be on the cusp of not only being the fastest growing wireless company, which we already are, but duplicating and exceeding any kind of wireless footprint that AT&T or Verizon have. And I don't think that they're prepared to think that way. John, let's talk about that Spectrum auction coming up. The last auction uh, went for $45 billion total. That was about four times what anybody had thought. How deep are your pockets? Because you really need the low band spectrum that's coming up. Yeah, it's a great point. Um, we bid in the auctions. Uh, we spent $1.77 billion and got 151 licenses in areas that we needed. We had the biggest mid-band spectrum portfolio of anybody going into the auction, so it wasn't extremely important for us. But what, what's happening in the industry and in Washington is I would call auctions. There was this auction and there's the coming incentive auction in the low-band spectrum. And what the country and the government wanted to accomplish, one, is fundraising for public safety aspects, et cetera, and two is to ensure competition, which that's what this is, will continue.